A time-consuming and emotionally stressful adoption process can be immensely rewarding. When Christina Fisher of Florida met a couple who were interested in taking in her baby, Abigail Lynn, she decided to let them adopt her. Following the discovery that she was born with treacher Collins syndrome, a genetic condition that affects facial development, they decided not to proceed with the adoption. Christina Fisher found out she was pregnant and made the decision to give up the kid for adoption. The mother from Florida was worried that she wouldn't be able to provide her child the attention it needed. The adoption agency was utilized by Mrs. Fisher to locate the unidentified adoptive parents. Abigail Lynn was born with Treacher Collins syndrome, an extremely rare condition. As a result, some of the most important features of her face were not fully formed. The infant was not what she had expected, according to its adoptive mother who fled the hospital. Miss Fisher opted to keep the baby and says she couldn't imagine life without her. Her biological mother, Christina Fisher, has taken custody of Abigail Lynn, a five-month-old baby, and she's currently living in Florida. Rather than being an unusual series of circumstances or an improbable tale, the truth behind Abigail's reunion with her biological mother is both sad and wonderful. Abigail Lynn was born on January 11, 2016 with Treacher Collins Syndrome, a condition that's highly rare. Due to a genetic condition that resulted in Abigail's facial structures not developing as expected, her adoptive mother decided to abandon her and flee the hospital. Her birth mother took her in and now says she can't imagine living without her daughter Abigail. A GoFundMe account set up to help Miss Fisher care for Abigail and buy her baby clothes, diapers, wipes, and other basic needs. I spent the better part of last year pregnant and was going to give Abigail up for adoption. The Treacher Collins syndrome that she was born with surprised us. It was not identified in the amniocentesis or the ultrasound, Miss Fisher wrote on the GoFundMe page. We never heard from her birth mother again. We'd left the hospital crying and expressing her disgust with her abnormality. When the adoptive mother left the hospital in January 2016, she screamed and expressed how disfigured she was, and we haven't heard from her since. I realized that she was only meant to be mine now. As a single mother with one daughter, Deborah, now 18, Miss Fisher decided to put Abigail up for adoption. There was no sign of the father and the 36-year-old expecting mother was living in a trailer park nearing the conclusion of her pregnancy with the baby. Her facial bones and tissue were affected from birth due to Abigail's treacher Collins syndrome, resulting in underdevelopment of certain facial features like her cheekbones, ears, and jaw. Abigail's disability won't keep her from enjoying a normal life, but her adoptive parents evidently couldn't handle it. The adoption agency is said to have been taken aback by the adoptive parents' reaction. Oksana Peary, a Florida-based photographer, recently had the pleasure of photographing Miss Fisher and her child. This has resulted in a wonderful collection of photos depicting the mother-daughter relationship. According to the GoFundMe website, I was not prepared for her, Abigail, but now I cannot fathom life without either of my kids, Miss Fisher says at the end of her poignant GoFundMe page. Thanks to everyone who's helped, I want to extend my gratitude to you all, the mother says. Treacher Collins syndrome is a disorder that disrupts the development of the face's bones and tissues. Edward Treacher Collins, a London ophthalmologist who first documented the illness in medical literature in 1900, is the name of the syndrome. The signs and symptoms of the disorder can range from hardly apparent to severe. The majority of those affected have undeveloped facial bones, especially cheekbones, as well as a tiny jaw and chin. Some persons with this condition are born with a cleft palate, which is an opening in the roof of the mouth. Sufferers have major, life-threatening respiratory problems in severe circumstances. Treacher Collins syndrome, or TCS, is a rare genetic condition marked by severe head and facial deformities. Underdevelopment of the zygomatic complex, cheekbones, jaws, palate, and mouth is common in craniofacial abnormalities, which can cause respiratory and feeding problems. Affected people may also have eye malformations, such as a downward slant of the aperture between the upper and lower eyelids, and anomalies of the external and middle ear structures, which can cause hearing loss. Microcephaly and psychomotor slowness are two brain and behavioral defects that have been documented as part of the disorder. TCS symptoms and physical traits differ considerably from one person to the next. Some people may go undiagnosed because they're only minimally affected, while others may suffer major, life-threatening consequences. Changes or mutations in the TCOF1 gene are the most common cause of TCS, but it can also be caused by mutations in the POLR1B, 
POLR1C or POLR1D genes. TCOF1 and POLR1B have autosomal dominant inheritance, but POLR1C has autosomal recessive inheritance. POLR1D mutations, on the other hand, have been linked to TCS in both autosomal dominant and recessive forms. TCS symptoms and severity can differ considerably from one individual to the next, even within the same family. Some people may be undetected because their symptoms are so minor. Others may have major abnormalities and the risk of life-threatening respiratory problems. It's crucial to note that not everyone who is impacted may experience all of the symptoms listed. TCS affects the bones of the face, the ears, and the soft tissues around the eyes, among other things. Individuals with the condition have distinct facial traits and may develop hearing and vision impairments. TCS is characterized by symmetrical, nearly similar facial deformities that are present at birth, congenital. Hearing loss, cleft palate or jaw, and airway difficulties can all affect speech and language development. Although intelligence is normally unaffected, neurological and behavioral abnormalities, such as microcephaly and cognitive delay, have been documented as part of the illness on a rare basis. TCS causes the cheekbones to be underdeveloped or missing, making the area of the face appear flat or sunken. Mandibular hypoplasia is a condition in which the lower jawbone is not fully grown, causing the chin and lower jaw to seem abnormally tiny. Certain bony structures that anchor sections of the lower jawbone to muscle might be unusually flat or missing. Affected infants may also have throat underdevelopment. Early infancy eating problems and or breathing difficulties may be caused by pharyngeal hypoplasia with underdevelopment of the lower jaw and or abnormal smallness of the jaw. Obstructive sleep apnea, which is characterized by recurrent short pauses of regular breathing and air movement during sleep, can affect children. Life-threatening breathing issues may arise in certain seriously affected people. Use the search term infantile apnea in the Rare Disease Database to learn more about this disorder. Narrowing or occlusion of the nasal airways are further anomalies that may contribute to respiratory or eating issues. Severe micronathia, a tongue that's shifted farther back in the mouth than normal, and inadequate closure of the roof of the mouth are all characteristics of the Pierre-Robin sequence in some children. Even when the palate unites, it can still be excessively arched, causing problems with eating and breathing. Dental anomalies, such as undeveloped or hypoplastic and or misplaced teeth, can also be caused by deformities of the mouth and jaw. Missing teeth, clouding or darkening in the enamel of the teeth, an inappropriate eruption of certain upper teeth are among the other dental anomalies described. Due to the failure of sound waves to pass through the middle ear, people with TCS may acquire hearing loss, individuals with TCS may also have deformed or non-existent ossicles, the three small bones through which sound waves are transferred in the middle ear as a result of anomalies affecting structures within the middle ear. Furthermore, the external ear structures are frequently non-existent, tiny or deformed, and the external ear canals are narrowed or blocked. Crumpled or rotated outer ears are common. The inner ear, on the other hand, is normally unharmed, though malformations of the inner ear's bony spiral organ or cochlea and the balance-related structures have been documented. Additional symptoms include the presence of tiny skin growths or pits right in front of the external ear and an irregular tube that drains the ears to the nose but is closed on one end. TCS causes problems in the tissue surrounding the eyes in many babies. Affected individuals may have a melancholy face appearance as a result of their eye abnormalities. A downward tilt to the aperture between the upper and lower eyelids is the most prevalent ocular symptom. A lower eyelid gap or cleft of missing lid tissue, partial lack of lower eyelashes, crossed eyes and constricted tear ducts are further signs. Malformations of the globe are occasionally found and might include a notch or cleft of missing iris tissue, as well as abnormally small eyes. Some patients may experience vision loss. The severity and combination of ocular defects determine the degree of vision impairment. Abnormalities in the lower eyelids can cause the eyes to dry up, increasing the risk of persistent irritation and infection. Approximately 5% of those with TCS have developmental delays or neurological issues such as psychomotor delay. Normal language development, on the other hand, has little effect on IQ, hearing loss, cleft palate, or difficulties making sounds due to structural distortion 
can all cause problems with speech development. Widely spaced eyes, notching of the top eyelid, nasal deformity, and excessively wide mouth, atypical growth of the scale pair toward the cheeks, congenital heart issues, and or gastrointestinal abnormality are all common physical anomalies in people with TCS. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.